Hello. Basically, I'm going to show you how I created my logo for my website. It was done with RealFlow, Maya, RenderMan, and After Effects, and this was the final output. So it's quite a simple. It's a simple logo, and it's a simple process to get to that. Basically, the simulation was all done in real flow. So if you play it, you can see that uh, it's got five emitters, just standard um, circle emitters. So you choose one of them, and basically they fill up an object, and the object is this shape here, which is my logo, which was made in Maya. So if I play that, you'll see it's slowly filling up the, um, the volume. Got kill volume, just so just in case any of the particles go outside of that, it just gets rid of them. And then all of the meshes, I've turned all the particles into meshes. So really, really simple. It's not very many particles, as you can see. It's each emit each particle emit only emits about 4,000 particles in total. Let's see as it goes up. And the mesh is really quite low as well. There is a gravity field in there as well just to help a little bit. But basically after this simulation was done I brought it into Maya and then I loaded up all the individual meshes so there's five meshes, five separate meshes here that I loaded up brought in a render man environment, cam uh, environment light and just set it to 128 samples um, occlusion and I've also got primary visibility on because I wanted the colour And this is there's one single other light additional to the uh, to the render man environment light, and it's just directional light set like that with uh, has got ray trace shadows on it as well. Sorry, it's actually got um, depth map shadows on it, set at five twelve, and then also the deep shadow on. The render man attributes. Then I just set the. Uh, really, haven't really changed anything. Just set the quality to three and eight. That's about it. And then, and then, uh, yeah, this is the render I get. So it's quite quick rendering as well. thought it was good enough for what, for what it needed to be. Okay, so you can see it took uh, 32 seconds to render. So and then the final stage was just putting it together in After Effects and it's just made up of a few layers the studio's text was done in After Effects there's a transparency animation on the uh, um, opac opacity tra animation on the actual logo animation itself and then it goes to the actual Design that's a PNG format. And that's basically it. That's how I got, did. That's uh, how I got to the outcome of this.